Hi, I'm Lisa Hendy, author of The Grace of Yes. C.S. Lewis, in his classic work, Mere Christianity, said, True humility is not thinking less of yourself. It is thinking of yourself less. Pondering this simple quote can help us to reconcile the legitimate need to promote our work with the desire to never be self-centered. We can be people of faith who share our gifts and still live humbly and generously. First and foremost, we have to be utterly convinced that the gifts we have to share with the world come from God. For a perfect example of humility in action, we look to Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, who gave all the glory to God when her cousin Elizabeth recognized the Savior of the world dwelling within her womb. Mary's yes to God's will for her life was a continual, generous giving of herself, even when it was most heartbreaking. Mary's yes teaches us that our sharing of our work with others can be a true and beautiful praise of God. St. Augustine also gives us wisdom for those times in our life when humility collides with popularity or fame. He said, do you wish to be great? Then begin by being. Do you desire to construct a vast and lofty fabric? Think first about the foundations of humility. The higher your structure is to be, the deeper must be its foundations. The bedrock of humility can keep our ego towers from tumbling when the heights we reach cause us to lose touch with our grounding. When our popularity comes and its 40-story deluxe tower is built on dust instead of the steel and concrete of humility, all it takes is the tiniest of winds to set the whole structure toppling. When that happens, our openness to God's will for our lives, those yeses that we wanted to give, are morphed into our own agendas. Sometimes we're even shrewd enough to convince ourselves that God really wants for us the self-centered paths we've chosen. Lack of humility clouds our ability to discern. Our overinflated egos and what's in it for me attitudes drive our decisions. Growing in the grace of humility means catching ourselves in those moments when we've ventured off course down our own path rather than the one God desires for us. It's never too late to course correct. Next time you believe that you've screwed up badly, that you're too far gone for hope, catch yourself. A humble yes in those moments has us reaching for help from God, from our church, and from our loved ones. True humility accepts help when it is offered. And true humility helps us to give our most generous yes to God's will for our lives. I'm Lisa Hendy. I hope you find grace in every yes. And for more, visit us at catholicmom.com.